I want to talk about Jehovah Witnesses because, you know, they're a loving people. I mean, they really are in so many ways. They've got beautiful hearts and they want, they want to see scripture fulfilled and that's understandable. But unfortunately, I want to bring attention to what they're being told is not scriptural. They're being lied to. And it's quite natural to want to think that they have the truth, as they call it. But what they're not looking at is that the governing body is a man-made operation. They're imposing lots of unscriptural rules and regulations that no one can actually live up to. But whatever you do as a Jehovah Witness, what you're doing is not enough. Now, look at the um, investigation in Australia, the Australian Royal Commission. They highlighted that Jehovah Witnesses do not report crimes to the police. What's also come out is that Jehovah Witnesses are just like the churches. They're interested in money. That's the truth of it. I mean, we heard two years ago that those who dedicated their lives by working in the Bethel, they were given one week's notice. That's all. One week's notice and they were having to be shipped out with no money, no pension, no anything. Whereas they were abused because they were watchtower slaves effectively. But their hearts were in the right place. But unfortunately, they were used and abused and spat out. Any organisation proclaiming to be a religion that works like that isn't serving God. I mean, any organisation that allows children to be abused is working for Satan. End of story. Any organisation that tells you not to speak to your mother and father is working for Satan. Now, unfortunately, so many things are wrong with the organisation. And yet the organisation cannot be criticised. Because if you do, they'll kick you out. But just look at the policies they have. I mean, in what way are they scriptural? Can you not see that Jehovah Witnesses are Christendom? They've hypnotised people. Families, young men, old women, all sorts, children. They've hypnotised you into thinking that what they say is law and is from God. I mean, they're not serving God. They have you on a sort of donkey and a carrot scenario wanting to live in a paradise. Well, who wouldn't? But what they're not telling you is that after a thousand years, when um, you're supposed to be getting this paradise ready, you're going to be on the field service talking to the resurrected ones. That's what the book of Revelation talks about. So, in effect, you're going to continually be on the service, field service, for a thousand years. I mean, that doesn't sound like paradise to me. Remember, this is coming out of the Jehovah Witnesses, their own doctrine. And all I ask people who are Jehovah Witnesses is to read the Bible only. Because that's where you get the knowledge. And that's where you can get freedom from religious constraints and dogma and doctrine. The governing body don't care about you. Look at the way they kicked out the Bethelites. And look at them all. Look at the names. Can you not see the German names? Look. It's a Zionist organisation posing as a religion. Now, the thing is about Jehovah Witnesses is that, unfortunately, it's like their brains aren't connecting. I mean, just open your eyes. 
Take a step back and take a look at everything you've been told. Where's your brains? Can you not see that you've been conditioned by these men who call themselves the governing body and they're laughing at you? They'll tell you anything and you just lap it up. You're being gaslighted. You really are. So I'm just asking for you to take a fresh look at everything you've been told.